All right, Little Caesars Pizza is awesome. The Detroit style pizza, the inventor of the hot and ready. $5 and you're eating on that thing all day. There's just one issue I have with Little Caesars Pizza, and I'm gonna tell you about it right now. What's up everybody, welcome aboard. If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, go ahead and do it and let's get into it. All right, Little Caesars. Fun fact about Little Caesars, this was my first job. And in fact, this was so long ago, the Little Caesars actually delivered when I worked there. So I was a Little Caesars delivery guy. They don't even make those anymore. Also, I remember back when the square pizza was $5. The round pizza was $5 and the square pizza was $5. I don't know why it took them so long, but you know, the square one's clearly worth more. So earlier I mentioned how I have one problem with Little Caesars pizza. As things get older, you start having more issues with the things you eat. And I never had any issues with Little Caesars pizza until recently. So one night I wake up in the middle of the night and I'm feeling a very intense pain in my chest. So, you know, I try to just lay there, make sure, let it go away, but it doesn't. This, this intense pain just just keeps, you know, keeps putting the pressure on. So eventually I do what I do in that spot. I walk downstairs, I get me a dose of Alka-Seltzer. Pop, pop, fizz, fizz. That shit is amazing. It always helps me. You know, even after a dosage of that, which normally fixes everything for me, I get back to bed, I'm still in a little bit of pain. It doesn't just wipe it out like it usually does. Which, like I said, that was very strange with me, for me. Alka-Seltzer is like the all-encompassing fix it for me. Sometimes if I'm just he having a bad day, I'll just have a cup of Alka-Seltzer, you know, it turns things around. That stuff is amazing. So like I said, the Alka-Seltzer helped a little, but not completely, you know, but at this time, I don't realize what's causing this. I don't, I don't know what, I didn't even think about what, what caused this. I'm like, man, do I have something seriously wrong? But you know, eventually I get to rest, I get to sleep, pretty sleepless night, but you made through it. All right, so let's fast forward a couple weeks. I wake up in the middle of the night and I feel that same pain. What the hell is going on? It was unmistakably the same pain. So I do my thing, I go downstairs, get the Alka-Seltzer, struggle through another sleepless night, I'm I get back to bed, I'm laying in bed, and it hits me. Little Caesars is what's causing this devastating chest pain. So at this point, I have a decision to make. Am I going to give up Little Caesars? This is something I've enjoyed my whole life. Do I have to just stop eating it? So surely, since it's causing me all this pain, I have to give it up, right? Wrong. Instead, I put together a plan that helps me enjoy my Little Caesars pizza without the insane chest pain. I'm going to share that with you right now. First off, don't eat it at night. That was the problem. I was eating it right before I went to bed, which really intensifies the pain. Sometimes you get caught up, you get busy, you haven't had dinner yet, eight, nine, 10 o'clock, you're on your way home. What am I gonna eat? Well, you know what I would do? I would just load up that little Caesars app. They have a nice convenient drive through at the one by my house. And you know, just a matter of minutes, I'm home with the $5 hot and ready, ready to rock with it. So if you wanna avoid this chest pain, don't do that. Little Caesars, to me, there's a cutoff time, 5 p.m. If it's after 5 p.m., it's not an option. The second part is I take my Alka-Seltzer, but I do it a little differently. I take it in a preventative manner. I don't wait till the middle of the night. So I eat my little Caesars pizza. I wait about an hour. Pop, pop, fizz, fizz. Really helps things. I know some of you don't like Alka-Seltzer. You might not be about that Alka-Seltzer life. Maybe you like Rolaids. Maybe you like Tums. Maybe you say they're better. You're wrong, but that's fine. Do you. Whatever you, whatever you prefer. With these two steps, your chances of survival against the Little Caesars pizza is, are much, much greater. You can keep enjoying that $5 goodness indefinitely, as long as you follow these steps. All right, that's it for today. If you haven't yet, hit that thumbs up on the way out. Make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.